Well, tonight, Molly Corbett and her father, Tom Martins, are free on bail. The father-daughter pair left the Davidson County Jail just an hour apart earlier this evening. The two were convicted of second-degree murder in 2017 for the death of Molly's husband, Jason Corbett, in Davidson County in 2015. Yeah, last month, the North Carolina Supreme Court tossed out the conviction and ordered a new trial. Fox 8's Allison Smith was at the jail when they were both released. So, Allison, did they say anything on their way out? Yeah, Molly walked right past us without saying anything before getting in the car. Her father, Tom, he was very brief. He said he was glad to be back with his family, many of whom were in court for today's pretrial hearing. Mr. Martin, how does it feel to be out? Free on bond after 44 months behind bars. I'm glad to be back with my family. Tom Martins and Molly Corbett were both released from the Davidson County Jail Wednesday evening with little to say. You please, so please direct any of your legal questions to my lawyer. Then hugging family members before getting into the car and taking off. He's happy. He's happy to, to see his wife. He's happy to see his children. The father and daughter have been serving a 20 to 25 year sentence for the murder of Molly's husband, Jason Corbett. The two have always contended it was a case of self-defense. Last month, the Supreme Court found the two did not get a fair trial, overturned the conviction, and granted a new trial. Tom's attorney says the show of support by family at his bond hearing was overwhelming. I think for, for our client, it meant everything. You know, there was a granddaughter he saw for the first time when he walked into that courtroom this afternoon. So it's hard to, to overstate what, what that meant to him, you know, to have them all there. I mean, that, that's just, just an incredible moment. Jason's family is overseas and could not make the hearing due to COVID restrictions. His friends showed up outside the courthouse in their place. He never had a mean bone in his body. I mean, I worked directly for him for four years, and I never seen a mean bone in his body. Jason's family released this statement. It reads in part, the district attorney's determination to seek a retrial in this case ensures that our six-year fight for justice for Jason continues. The DA has shown today that Jason's life is of equal importance to all others, even those of the well-connected and wealthy defendants who admitted killing him. Now the Martins and Corbett's will wait to see if a plea deal will be offered or if the case will be retried. I think it just gives us an opportunity to, to be heard in, in a fair way, and, and we really appreciate that. Corbett, keep ready to make the general. Okay, so Tom and Molly, they plan to return home to Tennessee to await trial right now. A date has still not been set for their next court appearance. Live in Davidson County, Allison Smith, Fox 8 News. All right, Allison, thank you. And while this case is getting a lot of attention here, you may not be aware this is really big news in Jason Corbett's home country of Ireland. A brief bit of history. Molly was Jacob's or Jason's second wife. His first wife died in 2006. He was living in Limerick, Ireland and raising his two small children alone. He posted an online ad for a full time nanny. He ended up hiring Molly Martins of Knoxville, Tennessee. A romance developed. They married in 2011, and Jason's job offered him a transfer to Lexington, North Carolina. He was then killed in their home in Davidson County in August of 2015. But look at how this is playing tonight in the Irish news media. Here's the Irish Daily Star tabloid with the headline, Killers Out of Jail, Molly Walks Free, Dad and Daughter Bailed, But DA Wants a Retrial. And you're about to see the Irish Times headline on its web page. Jason Corbett's killers Molly and Tom Martins granted release on bail of $200,000. And coming up, the Irish Mirror headline. Killers Molly and Thomas Martins granted release from prison on bail following hearing in the U.S. Now, as for Molly's and Jason's two children, they are now living with relatives in Ireland. We'll continue to cover this case.